In this video, I start something. So my car's on tick over at the moment. Ask a question, why I've got this particular light strip and throw some light on the situation. I'm hoping you can see this with this odd method. It's Da Vinci time. In answer to more of your questions, I wanted to share a couple of things to help you get more out of your 372 watt hour. In this video, I show a quicker way to charge while on the move and how you can make your battery power go further. So here goes. So according to your feedback, one of the most popular features on this 372 watt hour is the ability to charge this unit using the USB-C PD port right here. And with the appropriate charger, you can charge up to 60 watts, which is not only quick, but very convenient too because all you need to do is have one of these cables here, which is a USB-C to USB-C cable, which you can charge this unit and also then run other things directly from this unit, like laptops and such. And all you need is one of these wall sockets here, which is a 60 watt PD output there. But what about charging from your car? So welcome to the Lincoln 12 volt PD charger. And this one actually says it charges PD 60 watts. So let's find out how we get on. So unfortunately, I knocked the 372 watt hour off of a stall the other day and it seems to have broken the backlight. So ironically, this works better outside now than it does inside for filming. Uh, I'm just doing what I've done before, using the cigarette light here, plugged into the 12 volt output here on the 288 watt hour. And depending on how much charge the battery's got on the 288 watt hour, depends on how much goes into uh, the 372. So at the moment, and again, I'm hoping you can see this with this odd method, but we're getting about 22 watts in there at the moment. So I'm just gonna switch over to the other charger now and see what we get using the PD route. So before we plug in the other charger, I just wanted to check the voltage at the 12 volt socket on the 288 watt hour. And as you can see, it's 11.6 volts. So we'll see if we uh, can get the other charger to boost it up. Right, so the 12 volt uh, PD charger is now plugged in. So let's have a look on screen. Again, sorry for me busting the backlight, but look at that straight in as 60 watts so again i'm hoping that's visible on camera but yeah it's boosted the 11.6 volts in there to 20 and it's also providing the three amps to make up the 60 watt charging so let's see how it goes in my car so my car's on tick over at the moment this is what my 12 volt socket delivers so i knock off about 0.1 or 0.2 for this to get a more accurate reading so let's see what we get with both charging methods. So we've got the more traditional cigarette lighter socket plugged in there. So the lead's plugged into the solar generator. And we are getting, hoping you can see that, 37 watts. So let's see what we get with the USB-C PD version. So I've got the USB-C PD charger plugged in now. So let's see if it's true to its word. It gives us 60 watts in the car. And there we have it. So the fastest method I found charging in my car. So this is the SL02 Smart Light Strip from Tekken. The original unboxing and setup video is currently being suggested in the top corner right now. And you're probably wondering why I've got this particular light strip out and what that's got to do with the 372 watt hour. Well, in actual fact, this would just plug in as normal to the AC output and you control it with the control in the normal way via the infrared or using your mobile phone via the Smart Life app. So there's nothing particularly difficult about that, but I'm gonna show you a little tip to get more out of your 372 watt hour so this actually lasts for longer. Right, so the AC is switched on, power brick is plugged in and the light strip is on. So I'm gonna do now is just show you how much power this is using. And again, I'm hoping you can see this and it looks like it's around 17, 18 watts. That's fluctuating a little bit. So that's between about 17 and 18 watts. And again, I'm hoping you can see that okay on there. Sorry about knackering the backlight. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna hook this up in a different way and show you how we can get more out of the 372 watt hour. So before I uh, plug this into the 372 watt hour, I'm just draw your attention to the input voltage on here, which is 12 volts. So this is the key to what I'm gonna show you next. So this particular power brick here supplies this uh, light strip with 12 volts. So I'm just gonna connect this up slightly differently now to the 372 watt hour 
and show you the improvements we can make. So to power this 12 volt light strip without using the AC power brick, I've got a standard DC cable here. So this is DC 5521 to 5521. And I've also got the adapters that come with the uh, solar panel, which is the all powers one that I use. And I'm going to use the one that's marked up as C on here, because what that does is that takes a DC 5521 and turns it into a DC 5525. And that's the size you need to plug in to the 372 watt hours or one of the two 12 volt DC ports here. And then the other one then plugs in straight into that. So I'm just gonna turn these around now and get going. So as you can see, the light strip is switched on. The DC cable is plugged into the little uh, light strip junction box here. And the other end of the DC cable is plugged straight into the 12 volt output on the 372 watt hour. So let's have a little look here to see what kind of watts we're pulling. And I'm hoping that's visible to you. We're pulling 10 watts. So compared to before with the same uh, brightness and color settings, we're actually pulling seven to eight watts less. As we don't have to use the AC inverter on here, we're still getting the same results, but using less power. So this will run for a lot longer in this setup. So that's one way of making your battery power last that bit longer. We hope you liked our video. All the links you'll need to be in the description below. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. And stay tuned to Da Vinci.